Half a day and welcome to another edition of the Guam Crime Stoppers Report. With me is Guam Crime Stoppers Coordinator Officer Paul Tapal. How you been? Great. Thank you for having us again. Now we're seeing more and more reports of robberies. We talk about this every week around the island from purse snatchings along that uh, JFK Hill to armed robberies. Sometimes we hear about people uh, who struggle with the suspect who's trying to take their belongings. Now, how do you recommend, what do you recommend to people in these types of situations? Well, um, we want to stress this to the, uh, you know, the females out there, the ladies and everything that, first of all, don't make yourself a target. Try not to create a target. Um, we we want to say assert, walk like you have a reason to walk, assert yourself, have that confidence when you walk. Always look around, become aware. By doing so, you're letting the perpetrator know that you're not going to be an easy target. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of the distractions that we were, you know, we tell them, by you not creating a target, you're picking yourself up and you're actually, you know, you're holding your, you're holding yourself above them. Look at them in the eye. Look, look at each and every one, you know, every indiv individual around you in the eye. So that way you, you send that message that I'm asserting myself. I'm not going to make myself a timid person. I'm not showing any fear. Now, when you're, we're going to bring it to the JFK uh, purse snatching. Right. Um, just be aware of your surroundings. A lot of times I see it in the mall. I see it in the parking lot. People are texting. A lot of the ladies are texting. They're playing with their phones. Try not to do that. Put it away. Do it when you get into the store or do it when you get into your car. To and from your car, to and from your, your, to the store. Always be aware of what's going on around you in the parking lot. Always be aware of what's going around, you know, what's, what's happening around you when you're walking. By put, simply putting your phone away, you're allowing yourself to be aware. Mm -hmm. That's some of the things we recommend. Mm -hmm. Now, when, if it does happen to you, um, and you get a firm grip of your purse, you're going to have to make that decision. If you're going to continue the fight, try and bring attention to you. Scream, you know, um, play, play that tug of war game, but also be aware of the dangers that can happen. If you're feeling that you're being overpowered, let it go. By you allowing yourself more time, you create more time for people to see what's going on, the situation that's occurring. You create that time where people can actually, that you're surrounding, the surrounding um, citizens around you can actually react and provide assistance to you. Mm -hmm. But you're going to have to make that judgment if you want to continue the fight. Use your awareness level to see if, the, if there's an immediate threat right after that. Then you're going to have to comply, let it go, and run. What about, um, I guess, carrying some sort of protection? Do you recommend that, a, a, a pocket knife? or a... Anything can be used. Mm -hmm. um, we recommend taking a self-defense class. Right. Mm -hmm. um, any self-defense class, especially, you know, with all the, with all the movements towards the, 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 the power, you know, empowering the women, empowering mm -hmm. the females, empowering our ladies of Guam. Anything can be used. How you hold your key. You know, just one strike to create a distraction. Um, your self-defense classes can teach you that. If you decide to carry pepper spray, make sure you get trained in that mm -hmm. because it can actually be turned against you because you just want to spray and just run. You want to use it as a distractionary. You don't want to continue with the fight. You want to use it to provide yourself a safer distance, provide, provide yourself additional time frame where you can get away from the perpetrator. But you should always get proper training, whether it be a self-defense class or, you know, give us a call. And we'll be more than happy to show you how to use the, the equipment, the instruments that you have. Okay. Well, let's uh, go ahead and get to this week's crime yes. stoppers report. What do you have? Well, this is another robbery uh, complaint. This occurred along Route 16 at the uh, New Boyne Mart. On Tuesday, the 14th of May, 2013, at about 6.10 a.m., officers assigned to the Guam Police Department's Tumont Muni Precinct Command received information from the GPD dispatcher of a robbery that occurred at the New Boeing Mart, located on Lower Barragata Route 16 Army Drive. The police report revealed the following. At about 6 a.m., the store's owner had just opened the store for business when he noticed two masked men had entered the establishment. One of the suspects was unarmed, walked towards the register counter, where the other suspect stood by the interior doorway 
of the store and was brandishing a chrome-colored semi-automatic pistol. The unarmed suspect then grabbed the store owner by the back of the neck and shoves the store owner on top of the register counter. The second suspect then proceeded behind the register counter and attempted to open the register drawer but was unsuccessful. The unarmed suspect then instructed the armed suspect to proceed back to the store's entrance in which the unarmed suspect grabbed the store owner by the register counter, instructing the store owner to open the cash register. The unarmed suspect then instructed the store owner to sit on the floor as the unarmed suspect began shoving the money from the register into his pocket. The two suspects then fled in an awaiting gray pickup that was reversed into a parking stall, with a gray pickup fleeing northbound on Route 16 Army Drive. The two suspects are described as male, possibly Chukis or Saipanese, with a large frame weighing about 250 pounds. They both stand between 5 foot 10 to 6 foot in height. They were last seen wearing black long sleeve jacket, black pants, and a black ski mask. The Guam Crime Stoppers is asking the public's help relative to this robbery complaint. If anyone has any information, please call the Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP or text 688-STOP or you can visit our webpage at guam.crimestoppersweb.com or you can call the Guam Police Department at 475-861537. The Guam Crime Stoppers wants to remind the public that we do not use caller ID and you do not have to leave your name. You can receive a cash reward of up to $1,000 if the information leads to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons responsible for this crime or any other crime. You know, it is such a shame that these thieves are really targeting mom-and-pop mm -hmm. stores um, and other businesses around our beautiful island. Paul, what advice can you give people when they go through a traumatic experience like this? Now, it can be completely unsettling, but what kind of information should victims try uh, to get to help police locate these uh, suspects? Use your awareness. I, we can't stress it enough. Um, um, the description of the suspects their tone, their voice, the accent that they use, height. Start from the, when I do my um, school awareness presentation, mm -hmm. I always start from the, from the top down to the bottom. Height, weight, gender, hair color, accent is usually important. Any tattoos, any significant markings, any scarring, any um, um, disfigurement that we can use to identify, use, use that awareness level to take you further. Where the suspects fled on, did they, did they flee on foot? Did they run towards a direction where, you know, there's a heavy, heavy vegetated area where they can actually be leaving some clues for the uh, responding officers? Did they get into a vehicle? When they get into the vehicle, get the description of the car or truck, the license plate, make, model, color. And if you can't get the license plate, it helps out. And immediately call 911. Inform the dispatcher that you are a victim of a robbery at a store. Mm -hmm. And stay on the line and the, the Stay on line, request to stay on the line with the operators. That way you can provide the crucial information to the responding officers. The time is of an essence. And we need, to, we need the information as soon as possible so that we, when the units are responding, they can actually be looking out for the, for the vehicle or we can be looking out for the suspects who might have fled on foot. Mm -hmm. So just as crucial steps that you can take can really make a difference in, in helping us with our investigation. Right. I think one thing uh, that you mentioned I thought was uh, about the, the youth uh, presentations that you make in the yes. school. Um, I'm glad you mentioned that because it was a really an amazing story that ha happened uh, just this past week about a, yes. a young boy who actually turned his mother in. Yes, um, that's, that's the most courageous act I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I mean, in my presentation, I, I informed the students that you might actually know the person that's committing a crime. Mm -hmm. And I share with them, I break it down to them that the hardest part is to actually turn that loved one in. But you know, and I, I emphasize that in my awareness presentation that by doing so, you're doing the right thing. You're rising above and beyond and you're making the right decision. Mm -hmm. But you're making a difference. You are making the, the right difference for the better. And it took a lot. I commend that, I commend that kid. I commend the efforts of this, his teachers, his mm -hmm. school. It is, I can't, I have, I'm, I'm, I'm actually speechless for the, you know, in words right. and everything because we're out there giving the awareness presentation and it's happening. Mm -hmm. Kids are actually, the, the youth is actually stepping forward and wanting to make a difference, right. wanting to make the change for the better. Mm -hmm. And there's no, there's no other way to express it, but thank you. Once again, thank you also for coming in. Just as a side note, um, I was, we were talking about that young boy. He actually, because he turned in his mother, mm -hmm. that closed six cases. Yes. So once again, thank yes. you to the child thank and, and thank, thank you. you.
for coming in and everything that you do for our community to keep it safe. But folks, we need you to help take back our community and keep crime off our streets. And one way you can do that is to come forward if you know information about any of these crimes being perpetrated against our community. If you have any information about the robbery at the new Boeing Mart or any other crime, please call Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP or text 688-STOP. Remember, you can also log on to guam.crimestoppersweb.com. Thanks for watching and stay safe.